Hello guys, uh, my name is Evans and uh, welcome to this uh, video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to start looking at the 2017 May-June IGCSE ICT. Um, we, in this video particularly, we will look at um, paper 2.1. In the consequent videos, we are going to do um, paper 2.2, um, um, paper 3.1 uh, and paper 3.2. Okay, so let's go straight into our work for today. And um, the scenario is that you work for a company called Tawara Summer Schools. You're going to perform some clerical tasks for this company. So task one, evidence document. So open the file, j217evidence.rtf. Make sure your name, center number, and candidate number will appear on every page of this um, evidence document. Okay, so make sure, um, rather, uh, save this as a wet process document in your work area with the file name. Uh, J217 evidence followed by your candidate number, um, for example, J217 evidence um, 9999. Okay, so you will need this um, evidence document during the examination to enter answers to questions and also place screenshots when you are required to. Okay, so let's go ahead and just do that. Okay, so open the evidence document file and insert in the header of this file, you're going to insert the blank three column uh, format, um, insert your name, Chikasa Evans. ZM 556 um, and candidate number 001. Um, well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I almost said, What am I supposed to put here? It doesn't matter. What I did was I placed everything here um, um, my name, center number, and candidate number. And um, this then means that they will have to be um, to be removed, okay? Unless basically we were told that um, this has to come center aligned, right aligned, and stuff. But for now, it doesn't matter as long as our name, candidate number, and um, um, center number are in our header. Okay, so this is perfectly fine. Um, so I'm gonna close this, um, save this file as in the current folder, J217 evidence followed by the candidate number. But it must be saved in the format of Word document. Okay, so that should be fine. Next step, task two. You're going to edit an information sheet for Tawara Summer Schools. The company uses a corporate hard style for all their documents. So paragraph styles should be created and applied as instructed. So step number one, using a suitable software package, open the file j 217 rtf Do not change the paper size, orientation, or margin, um, 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 margin setting so this is very important guys um, in the previous papers we were always told to change the paper size change the orientation and the margin and stuff like that but in this paper we are told not to affect or to change any of this stuff okay so let's go ahead and open this file in question brochure and as you notice um, um, you have um, a portrait orientation and you have the margins already set um, and um, um, the paper size is already set, so you don't change anything here. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the question. And so save this file in the format of the software that you are using. Okay, and it must be saved with file name um, TSS leaflet. Okay, so let me just copy this. And um, this is the file name that we're going to give to this file. Okay, so go to file, save us, and then the current folder. I'm going to change the name. And change it to the format Word document file and save it. Okay. Next step, place in the header and not this one. We need to do the evidence. So evidence one, place in your evidence document a screenshot to show this file has been saved and make sure that there is evidence of the file type. So come here. Um, you can even just um, um, change these to date modified if you want so that the files that the last the recent file that you just worked on is on top select it just to make sure that it is clearly visible and get this screenshot um, okay so this window shows you that this file has actually been saved and it has been saved on the computer now some of you guys um, you'd like to take screenshots of the, of the um, save as dialog window um, let me just um, uh, show you something but let me get the screenshot of this and then I'll come back and show you what I want to show you okay so let's go back and paste it in our evidence document so under step one and paste it right there that should be fine now what I wanted to say is that um, if you are asked to save this file and show that you'd saved it um, don't get a screenshot of of this window okay so many people would want to get a screenshot of this window to show that um, you've saved this the file especially for the first time like this file is not yet um, if this file was not yet here, uh, you're saving it for the very first time, don't get a screenshot of this one. This one doesn't prove that you've saved the file. 
it, it just shows us that you're about to save the file okay until you hit save on your key on your on your um, um i mean on the, the on this button here if you hit save that's when the file has actually been saved but before that this file is about to be saved and it has not yet been saved so this is not evidence that the file has been saved okay so i just thought of uh, clarifying that because you guys um you may miss a single mark if you didn't do that okay all right so let's go ahead and um uh, let's go back to the question so the question um step number two um, place in the header of the file um, TSS leaflet, place your name, center number, and candy number left aligned, and an automated page number right aligned. Okay, so let's go ahead and just do that. So insert um, in the header, you're going to put left aligned, your name, candid number, and center number. So Evans, um, um, Chikasa Evans, um, ZM556, and 0001. Okay. So right aligned, we're supposed to place um, our uh, auto automated uh, number, so page number. So go to hit P on your keyboard on this window, select the format, and then say OK. Right, so let's go to the next step. Place in the footer, place in the footer, um, the automated file name and path right aligned. OK, so I'm going to go here and close this one. Then insert this time around footer, blank three columns, but right aligned. I'm going to put, um, go to field, hit F on your keyboard to select file name, and um, add to path. Remember, to add uh, add path to file name, and then say OK, and you'll see that you have the file name and um, the path added. OK. Next. Make sure that all the alignment matches the page margins and no other text or placeholders are included in the header or footer area and headers and footers are displayed on all pages. Okay, so let's go back here. Make sure that the margins, are, uh, the, the headers and the footers are aligned to the margins. Okay, and make sure that no other text is displayed um, there. Okay, so the, the, one of the things you notice is that the last line here is actually appearing almost in the second line, should be in the second line of um, uh, this one. So in other words, this, um, this file, file name and plus path continues in the second line. So it doesn't matter, don't attempt to uh, drag this, this side, like push this like this. Otherwise, if you do that, you make this center aligned and it's going to be an issue. So I'm going to undo this one and um, this shows that it is right aligned it, despite it continuing on the next line. When it continues on the next line, it just shows you that actually the file path uh, where this file is located um, is actually longer. So this file should be found in multiple folders. Okay, That's why this way is in tutorials. It is in May June 2017. It is in P2. It is in P21, it is in worked files, and um, there. So you, you have all file names, um, uh, different um, folders where this file is. So remove this one as well, and that should be perfectly fine. Okay, so next. So done with steps two, and next step, we're going to start looking at step number three. And um, in step number three, I'm going to do this in the next video. And you guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you shortly in the next video. Remember to subscribe and like my channel, and um, see you shortly.